show you how you can set up uh, Sendl. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm going to need a control panel. If I'm wanting, if I'm wanting to add Sendl as a as a shipping option on my website. All I need to do is go into my Nido control panel, navigate down to the shipping tab and click add new matrix. They'll then load the add new shipping matrix page uh, that you can see here. And um, from this page, uh, it'll give you two choices, set up Sendle or add a custom matrix. So uh, before today, you would have only been able to add a custom matrix and now you can add Sendle uh, directly and instantly uh, to your, your Nito website. So you click on the set up Sendle button that then loads uh, the setup screen and from the setup screen uh, you'll get an introduction to, to Sendl, um, a little bit more about Sendl's rates uh, and then a step-by-step -step process to set up uh, a Sendl account and add Sendl to your Nito store. So the first thing it's going to ask you for is your email address um, and this will be uh, the email address that you'll use actually to log into Sendl's dashboard and it's also where your billing uh, will be linked to. Um, you'll need to accept the dangerous goods declaration and you'll need to agree to send those terms and conditions um, and there's a link off to those there. You'll then need to confirm where Sendle will be picking up uh, your products from. So you'll have to put in a phone number, uh, the address obviously, and uh, the state and postcode. Finally, you're going to have to enter in a shipping method name. So you can already have a shipping matrix set up on Nito and you may be offering your customers a number of shipping options. Um, this is essentially going to add one more option to that list and whatever name you put here is the customer facing name of that option on your website. So for example, if I wanted to call uh, Sendle Standard Shipping or if I wanted to call Sendle Sendle, I would simply enter Sendle in here and uh, customers would see Sendle as the shipping option name at checkout. Now what we're finding is a lot of our customers like the fact that Sendle um, is carbon neutral, it's a carbon neutral delivery option. So some of our customers are actually using that as the uh, shipping method name and it's a great way to differentiate Sendl as a shipping service to some of the other shipping options uh, that you might be using uh, today. So once I've defined all this I simply click complete setup and now what this is doing is it's provisioning me a Sendl account and it's going to email me a link to that Sendl account at sendl.com.au and it's setting up Sendler's shipping service on my Nido website. So that process is now complete and on my website I'll now have a new shipping option called Sendle um, and when I go to print shipping consignments from my Nido control panel it'll print out a Sendle shipping label and it'll automatically at that point in time book a pickup with Sendle. So with Sendle you don't need to submit a manifest, they'll automatically come and collect based on us uh, creating or you creating a label in your Nito um, control panel. And if, for example, you create a, a label in error, there is a time window to cancel the label directly from your Nito control panel. Otherwise, you can also log into your Sendle dashboard and from your Sendle dashboard, uh, you can cancel a label or contact Sendle um, support. But that's as easy as it is. So now I've got Sendle as a new shipping option on my website. And the rates um, that your customers will see on your website will be the rates that are returned from Sendle's API. So after adding that shipping option on my website, I can see now Sendle as an option and the cost of $8.75. And that's the actual cost uh, that it's going to cost you as a merchant to ship this product uh, to the end user. If you want to charge a different price than what you are charged by Sendle to your end users, um, you can do that uh, by editing uh, the services and rates linked uh, to the Sendle shipping method that you have set up and you can use our professional services or our support uh, to do that for you. Uh, if you'd like Sendle to be integrated in a more integrated fashion to your existing matrix, so maybe it's only an option if it's cheaper than other options in your matrix, again we have professional services and support that can enable uh, you to, to achieve that. Um, but what I'm showing you here and what you can do is very quickly and easily just add Sendle as an additional option to your website, giving your customers more choice at checkout. Um, and again, maybe leveraging uh, the eco-friendly nature of Sendle as a way to differentiate it uh, from other carriers. So simple as that, that's how you, you set up um, Sendle.